Please, before starting our lesson, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. What is the relationship between fault and earthquake? Certainly, here is a more detailed explanation of the relationship between faults and earthquakes. An earthquake is a sudden release of energy in the Earth's crust that results in the shaking of the ground. The energy that causes an earthquake is stored in the Earth's crust and is usually accumulated along geological faults. A fault is a crack in the Earth's crust along which two blocks of rock have moved relative to each other. When two blocks of rock move past each other along a fault, it can cause stress to build up in the rock along the fault. This stored energy can eventually be released suddenly in the form of an earthquake. The magnitude of an earthquake is proportional to the amount of energy that is released. There are several types of faults, including normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults, each of which can cause earthquakes in different ways. Normal faults occur when one block of rock is pulled downward relative to another, creating a gap between the two blocks. Reverse faults occur when one block of rock is pushed upward relative to another, causing the two blocks to become closer together. Strike-slip faults occur when two blocks of rock move past each other horizontally, without much vertical displacement. Faults can be found all over the world, but earthquakes are most commonly associated with tectonic plate boundaries, where large plates of the Earth's crust are moving relative to each other. At these plate boundaries, earthquakes can occur as a result of the movement of the plates along the fault. The most well-known plate boundary is the San Andreas Fault in California, which has been the source of several large earthquakes, including the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. In addition to natural tectonic processes, earthquakes can also be caused by human activities, such as the filling of reservoirs, underground mining, and the injection of fluids into the ground for the purpose of enhancing oil or gas recovery. These types of earthquakes, known as induced earthquakes, can be smaller in magnitude than earthquakes caused by natural tectonic processes. However, they can still cause damage and have a significant impact on local communities. In conclusion, faults and earthquakes are closely related, with earthquakes occurring as a result of the release of energy stored in the Earth's crust along faults. Understanding the relationship between faults and earthquakes is crucial for improving our ability to predict, prepare for, and respond to earthquakes, and for reducing the impact of earthquakes on human lives and communities.